And what is up guys, Technicals here. Today, we gotta send the Jazz Miner back, courtesy of JingleMining.com, link in the description below if you wanna check out Jazz Miner. They're the uh, they're a distributor for Jazz Miner. This is the X16 QE. Great at home miner, great first miner for somebody looking for something. Uh, doesn't eat a lot of power, good as a space heater. Kind of tune it up, tune it down as you uh, see fit. Doesn't break the bank. Again, great entry level sort of mining device. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Had some quirks that I had to work through, uh, but I'm gonna offer my final thoughts on it as my period of time draws to a close because they want this back. They didn't give it to me for free, unfortunately. Uh, but I do like this device. I'm gonna go through some of the things that happened with it. Also gonna be doing a little farm maintenance today uh, because I've had some changes on the tentacles. Let's get into it. Thought that'd be a little more dramatic. All right, so you may recall my last video, I was talking about how I got rid of basically all my CPU mines. They're all gone. I did that for a few reasons because again, they were going down and like the, the coins that were coming out for it, I just didn't really see the point in it. Uh, sure, you know, especially now, a lot of the coins are actually very profitable. Uh, but it was really more so of like paying attention to it. And I've, I've kind of harped on that theme a lot. I know it's a theme a lot of people don't really like understand because like they're into the hobbyist aspect of crypto mining. Me, not so much. I'm more into the just passive income. Make me money while I don't have to pay attention to you kind of thing. And so that was kind of one of the chief reasons I dumped it. Plus it was Christmas time. The prices were going for, you know, pretty close to what I paid for it. So I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and drop these because the best ones that I had, the 7950 X3Ds, those are technically previous generation uh, CPUs. And while they command a high price and they still perform comparably to the current gen, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and get it out of here, 5090's coming out, maybe wanna have some funds ready for that. So the CPU miners are indeed gone. I still have a couple of them back inside my house, my office. I'm still running the 8700G and also one 7900X. Both of those are on salad actually. Uh, so right now, what have I got left? I've got my ASICs here, my Bitcoin miners, S19J Pros, S21. Uh, these, I haven't listed the S21 yet, but the S19J Pros have been getting a lot more activity on their listing. Probably list the S21 soon. Not gonna list my Nervous Miner or my X5. I think I'm hanging on to those. My Ice River Miner's hanging on to those. But it's time to take a look at the GPUs. And that's really because for two reasons. One, my GPU miner went down two days ago. I have no idea why. It's been on Aleo the whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm long on Aleo. I think Aleo's got a lot of room to run. Too many big names backing it and a Bitmain ASIC potentially, likely. Uh, so I'm strong on Aleo, so I've been mining it. But the real thing is that, well, I need to address it being down, number one. Number two, I've got a CMP 100-210 in here. It's not exactly the greatest card, but it's efficient. It works on some algos, but I'm not really exploring that. But what is important is that other people are. And so I paid about $140 on eBay for my CMP 100-210. They're selling on eBay right now for like 200. So mine's got a fan, a shroud, uh, the little adapter dealie on it. So I'm thinking I can eke out a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna pull it out of here, list it, sell it, I did, hopefully, and then get the GPU rig back up and running. All right, and so Jazz Miner X16 QE did my full run with it. I put out the video uh, a couple videos back. Uh, I really like the device. Again, it, it's the perfect at-home miner. You know, one of the, 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 the these are very popular. Uh, you know, a lot of the tubers sort of review these and say like, you know, this is a good entry-level miner. And for all the same reasons that they talk about, it doesn't pull a lot of power. You can run it off a 15 amp circuit uh, without really having to worry about it too much. It doesn't make a lot of noise. It's not ugly. You know, you can just, it looks like a computer case, you know, a computer tower. You can slide it behind a desk. Well, not, not exactly behind a desk, but you get the idea. So it's a good entry-level, good entry-level price point too. Uh, and you have the ability to kind of tune it up and down. The only quirks I sort of had with it is, you know, if, you, if you've been watching me, you know that I've been running a little lazy here and, you know, I'm just kind of open about it. So like when I get a review unit or really anything, nice hash is kind of my default. And I know a lot of people don't like nice hash for various reasons because they got hacked like 
uh, 50 years ago or something like that, and people are still hung up on it. They gave all the money back. Uh, but it's uh, kind of a lazy approach to mining because you're only getting paid out in Bitcoin, so you can't really do a lot of sp speculative plays there unless you transfer the Bitcoin and buy the coin, whatever. Um, but I like nice hash because I can just throw it there. Also, people don't like it because of KYC because and that's hey, I, I hear you on that one. Uh, but I just went through the KYC process because I got nothing to hide. Uh, but I like throwing things on nice hash just to kind of test them. It's quick, throw it on there and just like how much am I making? Uh, so when initially the X16 QE, the jazz miner, it does not work on nice hash. Uh, Rabid Mining put out a video a long time ago, like a year ago. It wasn't working on it then. Uh, confirmed with them, it does not work on nice hash. I tried, it does not work on nice hash. Uh, so my next default is F2 pull, uh, and that's where I was going initially, uh, and was not getting results there. It was just kind of slowly bleeding hash rate uh, over time, and then settling out at something like 100 mega hash, very very low. Uh, so through uh, troubleshooting with uh, ja uh, with jingle mining. Um, kind of going back and forth, trying some different things. It just was not working out on F2 pool. F2 pool says they use Stratum 1.0 instead of GetWork, uh, but we tried it both ways. GetWork and Stratum uh, 1.0 did not pan out, so I just migrated over to K1 pool. Uh, and so K1 pool's really been coming through on a lot of these coins. I really do like K1 pool. Link in the description below, mine on K1 pool. I get a small commission uh, or something like that. So the remainder of the time, just mining ETC on K1 pool, not doing any dual mining, although it does do that. Uh, so I really like the device, you know, for my purposes, if I wanted like some supplemental heat in my house or something like that, yeah, sure. Um, but I'm kind of at a space premium in my house. <laughs> I don't, I don't want miners in here. Uh, I don't want to think about where they are. I like having all mine in the same spot. So maybe not totally entirely for me. I'd probably look at some of the more beefier options, which they do have. Jingle mining does have. Uh, but if you're just getting into the space and you're interested in it, because again, I've said like with mining, again, personal opinion, disagree with me all you want, I don't care. I'm right in my own head. I went to school, mining is, is like a DCA machine. It's not so much about the speculative plays, although it can be, and it's not so much about, it's definitely not about securing the blockchain for me, <laughs> uh, but it's more of like DCAing. So you, the argument could be made for sure. Like, well, that power that you spend every day, you could just put that towards buying the coin. But it's like, yeah, but then I have to like transfer the money, buy the Bitcoin, but transfer it to the exchange where the coin's at, get the coin, transfer the coin back. I could just buy the device and like mine straight there and I could sell the device later, um, you know, should the market turn around and I wanna do that. And so certainly times like right now, especially with the Bitcoin ASICs, uh, you know, you could do that, you could resell them. So same could be said for the Jazz Miner eventually. Again, if you wanna check it out, link in the description below over to Jingle Mining. Thank you again, Jingle Mining, for sending this unit over for me to take a look at and review. Show B-roll right here of your rack when you talk about the, uh, the salad rigs and the state of mining or whatever. And insofar as the other mining stuff goes, again, like I said, got two rigs currently on salad, just been keeping up with the updates there. It's a 7900X and an 8700G, both running 40, one's running a 4070, one's running a 3080 Ti. So not the latest and greatest high-end Ferrari of cards, not the latest and greatest high-end Ferrari of CPUs, but they're still pulling in in the range of about buck 25 to a buck, uh, upwards of two bucks per day. And that's been pretty consistent. And so I'm okay with that. I like keeping hanging on to at least some spare hardware. In the event in the future, I get something that needs me to like slap together a test bench or whatever. But as for right now, I sold all my CPU miners, two 7950X 3Ds, a 7900X and a 5900X. Uh, so glad to get those out. Increases the war chests, give me a little dry powder to go after a 5090 or something like that when and if that comes out whenever. Uh, because I think that'd be a nice touch to have uh, to do more mining content on, to know that I at least have the sharpest tool in the shed uh, in order to go after some of these coins that are GPU mineable in the future. Should GPU mining kind of turn around, and again, and wasn't really planning on getting into that for this video, but more and more I see uh, Bitcoin's really high. Bitcoin's really high in price. GPU mining's not, just not there. It's just not coming around. Alt season, is that happening? I just don't know. And it's the end of the year, and as far as I uh, expected, uh, the funny things happen at the end of the year because of taxes. People want to take the gains because they see that their income was not great this year or great this year, and they're like, okay, I can eat the tax this year, or you know, I wanna kick it into next year or something like that. And so people get funny with their, their buys and their sells and their trades. And you know, I'm just speaking from a realist perspective, 
uh, on how you're supposed to do things versus actually how people seem to be doing things. So that's to be expected. And it's a funny time of year. It's a funny time in the world. So uh, price is going up and down. But again, Bitcoin really, really high. Alt season, kind of a sluggish start. Is it going to come around? I don't know. And if it does, is it going to be all concentrated into meme coins yet again? Uh, or will proof of work coins kind of you know pull through? I don't know. I don't see people showing it further to that. I mean, I do YouTube videos, and again, I've only been doing it about a year since I came back. It's been, the next month will be a year. And so I hawk everybody else's stuff because the only way I can judge my own self-worth is by comparing it to other people. I have to have, do that measuring contest with everybody else. And so I look at everybody else's views. Creators that do a great job and are diligent in the space and are actually interested in the space, and they're getting garbage views. I'm getting garbage views. And so if it's being suppressed by YouTube, how much less likely is it that a new person is going to get served up that content about, say, a jazz miner or some other thing that could get them interested in the process of proof of work mining? It's going to be lower uh, or proof of work coins to that matter. Someone just floating around the Internet may be interested in buying into some speculative coins, uh, but they never see it because YouTube suppresses it, Google suppresses it, Facebook suppresses it, everybody's suppressing. Uh, it's just less people getting exposed to it, and that's less people ultimately buying our bags. And so uh, I'm kind of a little pessimistic in that regard, but hey, remains to be seen. It's not like I've ever been wrong before. So that's what's going on on the farm today. Once again, thank you to Jingle Mining for sending that unit over. Very happy to uh, have taken a look at it. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Be sure to like the video because it's the nice thing to do, and subscribe for more content like this. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.